<laughs> you guys question secret <laughs> cracks me up all the time. <laughs> Not a game. It's a hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is the girl with the tea. And this, okay, in this video, <laughs> you know that thing that happens that sometimes you want to say something and then you just forget what you want to say. It happens. So, in this video, I'm just going to be answering the question of a curious cat. So a curious cat was asking me a question that, oh, Glory, um, 2020 is almost over and you are 30. So 2021, you're going to be 31. What are your plans for marriage? And I just looked at the person squarely in the face and said, I hate marriage. <laughs> okay, don't tell me you believe that. I was just kidding. <laughs> no, no, frankly, guys, I was just kidding. I do not hate marriage. I don't. Yeah. But um, you see that question, that conversation of marriage, that is one conversation that I always, always, always try to avoid. And um, I avoid that question because it's, I avoid the question, I avoid the conversation because it's a very, very sensitive one, you know. And um, some, most of the time I find out that I am not really prepared to have that kind of conversation because most of the time my mind is clouded with thoughts about finances, financial investment. I'm constantly thinking of how to make money. I'm constantly thinking of how to um, better my life. I am constantly thinking about how to um, move up from where I am currently. And I am thankful that um, 2020 made that difference in my life, you know, but um, should I be complacent and just chill because i've gotten to a certain level no guys i'm actually looking forward to getting elevated you know so that brings me back to the question of this curious cat this person was this person is constantly asking me that particular question uh so once you get married uh, who is in the picture uh when are you going to settle down so let me just clear the air on that one yeah 2021 fswg is not getting married so nobody should even expect any wedding bells or anything you're not gonna happen next year mm -mm. even though it's gonna seem like it's gonna happen me personally i'm gonna try as much as possible to ensure that it does not happen and the reason is because guys trust me um i am not ready financially yes god will help me i'll marry a very very rich man in fact my dream is to marry a billionaire somebody that has their own money me too i want to have my own money yeah but the thing is i want to be very very much financially independent and um in as much as i am where i am today i do not think that i have been able to achieve that level of financial independence that i want yes a lot of people are comfortable you know not having their own thing a lot of people are comfortable just um, settling down with someone that they feel will be able to take care of them, take care of their every need, take care of everything about their life. You know, a lot of people are just very, very comfortable just laying back and allowing the man do all the work. I do not have that kind of school of thought. I was not raised that way. I was raised to be very, very independent and to thirst for more. And guys, trust me, I am very, very ambitious. So, um, 2021 is that year that I foresee myself pushing myself really, really hard. I really, really pushed myself a lot this year, but I still am not satisfied. There's still so much to be achieved. There's still so much that I can still do with myself, with my time. And I, I haven't gotten to that level yet. Okay. So, um, as I said, one, I want to be very, 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 very financially independent. Guys, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that I want to become a liko dangote before I get married. Mm -mm, nah. Um, things happen, you know, with a process. And I am trusting my own process to get to where I want to get to. So that's number one. Number two, I want to be um, emotionally stable as i am right now guys my emotions are scattered all over the place let me not lie to you my emotions i have shared it and invested it in so many emotional banks <laughs> i don't know if i'm what i'm saying is making sense right now okay so the deal is my emotions are invested in my passion my emotions are invested in my um my ambitions my emotions are invested elsewhere completely you know and 
it might come off as me being selfish no it's not me being selfish it's just me trying to set my priorities straight and guys at this point in my life my priorities are so straight even a ruler cannot even measure it you know so um i'm not emotionally available yeah i'm not really i'm actually emotionally available to be in a relationship you know to have fun to test the waters to just chill and relax but am i emotionally available to be responsible for um a lifelong partner's emotions for now no am i emotionally available to be responsible for some mini needs like one or two or three nada because trust me see those little humans they are so needy and guys let me not lie to you i don't think i have that kind of energy just yet and this is me giving kudos to all the mothers out there like mothers you people do not even know how strong you are you don't even realize how how powerful you are i give all of you a lot of kudos well done well done see eh? it takes superhuman effort for a female you know to let go of herself and become responsible emotionally for babies and that's what i'm trying to say when i say that i'm not emotionally available or ready you know to handle some other mini me's emotions so i'm not ready for that i feel like if i jump into such at this point in my life where i am still trying to achieve a lot more for myself i feel like i am going to have a mental breakdown because even myself i am still a baby yes my soul has not fully evolved my soul has not fully grown up and i'm still trying to handle myself i'm still trying to handle a lot of things around me a lot of things in my life so i am not emotionally ready i am not mentally ready but then hey don't don't listen um anything can actually happen guys you know there's this funny thing that happens um i knew of someone that out of the blues just got pregnant and had a child um in marriage of course and the person told me that hmm, sometimes these things you think you're not ready but then when it happens you just ask yourself you just see yourself taking the job role immediately you know you're doing great at it and people will think that wow you're an expert at being a wife and a mother you know well thumbs up to all those people that can easily shift into that job role instantly but guys trust me when you are very very ambitious when you have a lot of aspirations sometimes you feel marginalized you feel cheated when you do not achieve even half of those things you want to achieve and then all of a sudden boom you get pregnant or boom you get into marriage and all of those things so guys let me not seem like i'm blabbing this is just me trying to clear the air on that front and then um this particular day that I was doing a YouTube live stream and somebody was typing constantly, Glory, get married, Glory, Glory, go and get married, you need to go and get married. Hello? That is not a priority for now. So, major questions to be answered on this video, guys. Um, do I hate marriage? No, I do not hate marriage. Um, do I want, am I eager to settle down 2021? Hell to the no, I am not. If I even see it trying to happen, I'm going to push it to the next year. Um, basically, guys, those are the two major questions to be answered on this video, okay? So can we please stop with the FSWG, go and get married? Nobody should put me under pressure, I beg. Even my mom tried bringing the conversations like once or twice. Sometimes she would just make some funny, funny comments like, hey, me, I'm praying that your husband should be good though. <laughs> me, I just change the topic immediately into something else you know typical african mothers but guys um i am not that person that sees marriage as an achievement trust me i'm not a marriage counselor i have never been married i don't know what it feels like i don't know what it tastes like but i have seen so many marriages around me to know better to prepare my mind ahead for what i want so as i'm talking to you guys right now um, I know people say that marriage does not have a template, but hey, I am a very, very organized person. I am a very, very 
precise and articulate per se and if i'm going into something i know what i want already so in my head i'm already creating a template for what i want for my marriage okay um i'm already creating a template i have already created a template i carry that thing on my phone all the damn time you know a template for what i want my spouse to be like how i want my spouse to be and i am actually praying towards it okay so um marriage is not a do or die affair for me marriage is not an achievement can we please clear the air on that one first Marriage is not an achievement because there was one of those days that I was having a live stream and someone was constantly saying that and hey, you've achieved a lot and the only achievement you have not gotten yet is marriage and I'm wondering like do they give money inside marriages like do they do they give people awards do they give people money because I didn't just understand where that school of thought is coming from and that goes to show you that people are very very different you know people are very very different the way people reason the way people think it's totally totally different and it's okay to be different though but my own different different is completely different different from those kind of people's different different because i do not see marriage as, as an achievement i do not see marriage as a do or die affair um settling down means a lot more than just bearing missus or wearing a wedding band i don't want to become lord of the rings or lady of the rings you know carrying rings up and down no if i'm going to wear that it has to be very very symbolic it has to carry a lot of strength attached to it you know that it has to mean a lot more than just saying that oh because people said that oh it's time for me to get married me i should go and get married mm -mm, i i'm not that i'm not built that way guys so that is the reason why i am not eager so <sighs> I've answered your questions yeah. guys things that you should be expecting from me 2021 i should be making some major announcements or some major money moves because that is the plan by the grace of god but hey do not expect me to make mention or make any announcements regarding marriage you will not hear 2021 that hey FSWG is getting married mm, it's not gonna happen okay um that's it guys i just thought i should clearly hear about that put that out there um what do you guys think let me know what are your views about marriage do you think that people you know females especially must settle down at the age of 30. i mean that is what my fellow brothers and sisters in nigeria believe you know they believe that when a lady is up to the age of 30 she is overly due she's overly right for marriage so what are your own views about that guys what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below guys and i will see you in another video have an amazing amazing day bye